Hey everyone, it's April 7th and welcome to episode number 5 of Learn to Yo-Yo. In the last episode, we learned one of the most eye-catching classic tricks out there around the world. And as we keep moving on to the next few tricks in this series, I just want to encourage you guys to keep practicing everything we've learned so far in the first three episodes. In this video, I'm going to be using the Yo-Yo Factory Spin Star, which is the first yo-yo in the Yo-Yo Master Pack available on gentrystein.com. I'll have a link down in the description so you can check that out if you haven't already. And today we're going to be learning a trick called Robin Hood, which looks just like this. And this trick's actually pretty easy to perform, but only if you've already been practicing your sleeper. The reason for that is it takes about a 10 second spin to be able to perform this trick. And that being said, it's actually a really good way to practice your sleeper because it really challenges you to keep getting that longer and longer spin in order to get the trick to work. So the way we're going to start this trick is by just throwing a sleeper. And if we remember back to episode two where we learned how to throw our yo-yo, we just want to make sure the yo-yo is set up in our hand correctly, string going over the top, yo-yo is straight in our hand, and then we're just going to give it a nice hard throw. Hope you guys have been practicing those sleepers. From this point, we want to make it look like we're using a bow and arrow. So as the yo-yo is spinning here, we're going to reach back for our bow, and while we're doing that, we're going to make a C formation with our hand, kind of in between a C and an L. So we just want to get that string so it's resting on our thumb, and then we can see the string going up straight to the middle finger. So once we do that, we reach for the bow, then we come forward, grab the string right here and pull it through. The way that's going to look from this angle it should help kind of show you what that formation is supposed to look like is when we pull the string back we want the string to be resting on our throw hand thumb right there. And As we pull it back the string comes all the way back here and then all we do from that point is just let go of the string and that's going to actually cause the yo-yo to snag back up on the string. So as we're doing it, remember we want it to look like a bow and arrow, so let's try it one more time from this way. So we can reach back here, pull the string, aim straight out in front of you, and let go and catch. So a few things you might run into as you're practicing this trick. Um, as we're throwing, if we try to pull the string back a little too quickly, you'll notice that if I do that from here, if I try to pull the string back too quickly, it might cause the yo-yo to snag back up when I don't want it to, so it would look like this, right? The way we can avoid that is just make sure that we remember to pull the string nice and slow and controlled, so that way the string will slide on our thumb slowly, and then the yo-yo will still be spinning perfectly here, it won't snag back up, and then we have total control of when we want it to come back up. And another thing that you guys might run into as you're practicing, remember I said this trick takes about a 10 second spin to perform. And the reason for that is when you go to throw it, the yo-yo has to have enough power for you to pull the string all the way back and get everything set up. But along with that, it has to have enough spin left over so when you drop it, it'll come all the way back to your hands. So you can see that time there wasn't enough spin left for it to come all the way back to my hands. So I'm setting the whole thing up I drop the string and it doesn't come all the way back up. So if that's happening to you, just try to throw the yo-yo harder, keep practicing the trick, and over time you're going to get a better sleeper, and before you know it, you'll be able to master the Robin Hood. If you guys are following this series and enjoying the process of learning how to yo-yo and you think you might know somebody who would like to learn as well, definitely share the link to this series with them so we can all continue learning together. And with that being said, guys, that'll wrap up this episode. In the next one, we're going to be learning the breakaway, and I'll see you guys then. Yeah.